about God. God can't know about me neither because I got a murder case. I got this, I got that. God can't love me. You know, he started explaining to me who Paul was and who Saul was. Ooh, yeah. You know, he said, he told me who Peter was, who David was, no, no. you know? So as he was telling me all these things, I'm like, man, you know what, man, I, I'm, I'm ready. Can we shut the door? Because I don't know if you know who I am, but I'm the one who makes things happen here in the county jail too. So let me shut this door and let me uh, let me cry because I don't need nobody seeing me cry. He's like, man, you can cry. Little did I know about, you know, I didn't know about Psalms 50, uh, what is it, 51? Psalms 51, verse 8 says, all your tears and all your sorrows shall be collected in the bottle. You know what I'm saying? God's counting them out and writing them down in a book. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know about all that, but that got me through a lot later on because I started crying and I started reaching out and I started pouring my heart out and opening my heart up so that the Holy Spirit could feel me. So now, it's real, real easy to sit here and talk about God. A lot of people find it hard to talk about God, but it's one of the most easiest things you can do. And I'm going to tell you that from experience. I, I, I want to share something with you, man. I, I don't know how many of you know, how many of you read the Bible daily, but I'm going to break this down to you because it's been on my heart all week. It's been on my heart all week. And uh, it's it's First Kings chapter 3. You know, and I'm not going to hit you too hard, man. I'm just going to tell you, if you just stay patient and wait and talk to God before you make the next move, he'll provide for you. See, see God provided direction, and that direction is going to lead us to heaven. It's going to get us to where we need to be, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if, 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 if I could stand up here today and tell you right now, I, I, my wife's somewhere around here, but I just got married and baptized. God gave me my family back, beautiful kids back. Some of them were up here jumping around like little maniacs and all that. You know, Train 9, man, I'm going to tell you what. People like Train 9 came up in this jail, and they walked up in these cells, one deep, two deep sometimes with Dave Trinket. You know, and, 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 and when they did, man, what they did was they just did life with me. They didn't tell me a bunch of scripture all day. They just were like, how you doing, Sonic? What's up? How you doing today, man? Come on out here, man. Let's do this. Let's do that. Man, yeah, that's cool, man. And let me tell you about God. And then I was telling him about God because I started seeing his smile. Or I started hearing him be truthful about how his family is going through some things. You know what I'm saying? And that's how all of us, everybody right here, we are our worst problem. But we are our best answer. You know what I'm saying? All of us, we are our best answer. And that's all glory to God because God, God doesn't want to see one person fall. If you had 99 sheep and one got away, he's chasing down that one. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's what God does. He wants the ones that nobody else wants too. You know what I'm saying? That kingdom, the kingdom of God isn't a separated kingdom. It's a kingdom that's made of all things. So, you know, man, I gave my life to God. And then before you know it, I became a mentor. And now they told me I was going to prison for 30 years. 30 years. If I didn't sign for 30, I was going to get 50 to 99. Is that not true, Trey? That's right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? My people right here, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and they'll tell you, they thought I was never coming home. And then one day they said, get your pack your stuff, you're going home. Uh -huh. I said, man, not me, man. I ain't going home, but I'm good with whatever God got planned uh -huh. for me. Uh -huh. the truth was, I was going home that night. And I'm standing here today, man. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, this is not to talk down on nobody. But this is to tell you the truth. If you don't love God, you can't love yourself. And if you can't love yourself, you can't love that pretty woman that you got or them pretty kids that you got or that, that beautiful mama that, 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 that breaks her back every day to take care of you or to pay rent or the dad that goes to work and slaves in the heat. You can't do none of that if you don't love God because you don't know what true love is. We can say we do. And I can say I love you this much. But God loves you all around, all the time. It, we can't even fathom what he got in store for us, man. So you know what, with that being said, I just want to ask y'all, man, how many of y'all kids, how many of you grown people right now, how many of you know God? Yeah. Okay. How many of you have a close relationship with Jesus Christ? Yeah. Okay, now that's where we're getting at right here, having a relationship with God. You know what I'm saying? How, how, uh, let me just tell you like this, man. If you could, if everybody could just listen up, even if you're standing in line over there, if you're standing way over there by the water, if you're by the apartments coming through the gates, if you're over there, I don't, if you're coming from your car right now, if you could just listen up, I'd like to ask you, man, how many of you want to receive God in your life today? Amen, God in Jesus. You know, all you got to do is just 
I'm, I'm going to do it because I need it every day. I got to die in the flesh every day. Every day I got to die from the sinfulness of the flesh so I can live, so I can see the smiles on my people, so I can see the smiles that are inside of my soul and that the Spirit is providing for me so that that way I can't allow nothing to steal God's joy. Huh. Happiness will wither away, but God's joy will stay forever day. You know what I'm saying? So right now, if, you just, if, you, if you're feeling that, just go ahead and uh, just... Man, I'm going to bow my head and I'm going to pray. You can repeat after me, man. Y'all ready? Dear God, Jesus Christ, we just ask you to come into our life right now. We ask you to rearrange us, God. Forgive us for all of our sins. God, we ask you to move on behalf of us today and our families. Lord, we just want to give it all to you, God. For you are such a giving God. You are such a loving God. You are such a miracle working God. Man, they say you are God Almighty God. <laughs> yeah, God likes it when he smiles. So, you know, God, with that being said, we just want to say amen. 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 amen.